Hello, this is Nick with Nick's Computer Fix, and here's a video on how to download Windows 10 to a bootable USB flash drive directly from Microsoft. It's free and easy. And by the way, if you would like to support my channel, be sure to click on that subscribe button. It's appreciated. Okay, let's go ahead and get started by opening up a internet browser of your choice. Mine happens to be Firefox, and that's my favorite internet browser. So once I have it open, and I am going to go to the Google search engine, and I'm going to type in download Windows 10, or even how to download Windows 10. Once you come up with some potential links, I suggest clicking on this one from Microsoft, download Windows 10 disk image ISO file. And once you locate that, go ahead and click on it. And that will take you to the Microsoft download Windows 10 web page. And this is the official website from Microsoft. And the URL link or the address is right here. And I'll be sure to put that in my video description as well for you so that you have easy access to link right to this page. Now, it gives you a couple of different options. The first one is an update, and we don't want that one. We want to go ahead down and uh, click on the Create Windows 10 Installation Media. That's the one we want and I'll click on the download now button here and that will download the media creation tool 22h2.exe for you as you can see it's downloading for me and once it's completed I can go ahead and click on that and open up the media creation tool 22h2 on my computer here and that will execute the media creation tool on my computer here and I will get the Windows 10 setup prompt here and it will say getting a few things ready and this can take anywhere from a few minutes to even a good 10 or 15 minutes on some laptops and computers so keep in mind this is not something that happens quickly but uh, through video editing, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. And once that's finished, you'll get this notice, which is the license agreement. Go ahead and look through it. And once you're finished looking at it, go ahead and go down here on the accept button and click that. And once again, you will get getting a few things ready. And this will also take a good 10, maybe 12 minutes to complete on some laptops. So be patient. And let me go ahead and minimize that. We don't need the internet browser open any longer. So once it finished getting a few things ready, once again, you'll get this prompt. What do you want to do? And we don't want to upgrade the PC right now. If you're already running Windows 10, you just want to go ahead and create a Windows 10 media installation uh, flash drive. So we want the second option here. So make sure you have that marked and go ahead and click on Next. And then you'll get the uh, prompt that allows you to select your language and your Windows edition and, you know, what... Uh, operating architecture you want to uh, do and this is the way you go about doing it and we definitely want the defaults and mm, nine times out of ten you want to leave it at 64 bit now at this point before we click the next button here we want to go ahead and make sure that we have our usb flash drive inserted into our laptop computer so i'm going to go ahead and do that right now and keep in mind that you need a minimum of an 8 gigabyte flash drive to use to download Windows 10 onto the flash drive. And that's precisely the size flash drive that I have that I'm inserting right now. Okay, let's go back over to the installation and click on next. And then we get choose which media to use. And by default, it's the USB flash drive is the one that we want. 
And uh, if you wanted to do it the old fashioned way, you could, uh, you know, install it on a DVD. So we will go ahead and accept the default selection and go ahead and click on next. All right, at this point, select a USB flash drive just in case you have more than one USB flash drive installed and in, or inserted in your laptop. It allows you to select the correct one. So choose which media to use and hopefully you only have one USB flash drive inserted into your laptop computer. And once you click next, you'll get a few things are being getting ready again. And then it'll pop over to downloading Windows 10. And it will also say, feel free to keep using your PC. Well, it's been my experience that if you keep using your PC while this is happening, um, it will take uh, much longer to complete. So I recommend if you can, don't use your PC. Just let this happen and, uh, you know, get yourself a cup of coffee maybe a donut or something and uh, relax for a little bit while this is uh, progressing. Now also keep in mind that the uh, download process, the speed um, depends a lot on your internet speed, the performance and how busy Microsoft uh, servers are at the time that you're attempting to download Windows 10 to your uh, USB flash drive. So this could take uh, 10, 20 minutes. It could even take a couple of hours. So uh, just sit back and uh, let it happen. Now for the purposes of this video tutorial, I'm going to speed the uh, whole progress up with video editing software so that we're not sitting here being bored watching it increase. Okay, once it's completed its download, the next message that we're going to get will be verifying your download and this can also take a, a good 10-15 um, minutes at least and then it will jump over to creating Windows 10 media and this progress will also unfortunately I am sad to say will also take a, a good 20-30 minutes or more on a laptop in some cases um, let me speed this up a little bit through the magic of video editing and once it's completed creating your media and downloading Windows 10 onto your USB flash drive you will get your USB flash drive is ready message and at this point you are pretty much ready to go and go ahead and click on finish and it does a little bit of cleaning up process so don't uh, take your flash drive out of your USB port on your laptop immediately. Give it a minute or two to finish cleaning up the temporary files that it created while it was creating your USB flash drive um, for Windows 10. I now have a USB flash drive that I can install Windows 10 with on any computer that I choose to. And uh, as you can see, I just removed my USB flash drive and I recommend that you don't forget to take yours out as well. Okay, um, that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. And leave a like if you like. And click on that subscribe button if you would like to see more videos like this one.